Greetings everyone and welcome back to Astronia, where our base is uh, actually looking quite beautiful in, in the sun. Uh, I'm going to need to sort all that out, but we have a certain crash ship over yonder that we need to get to. Mm, you know what, maybe we should make a buggy to get over there, because how long is my oxygen going to last? Probably not that long. Is this even connected to anything? I don't think it is anymore. Well, that's just troublesome. Can I get it? Oh... Okay, it can only connect to these sorts of points. I see. Very well. Let us connect it up over here then. Something like that. There we go. And then this one can go back onto my backpack. I see. I see. So basically, these... Um, oh, actually, I was going to say these cells don't make the connection. But no, clearly they do. Hmm, I'm going to have to have a look into that. But let's just see. How far can we run? Can we stay alive? I mean, we've got our tethers going part of the way over there, after all. We might be good enough. Uh, you need to be moved back a little bit, though. Let me grab you and pop you where? It, does this tether... Oh, dear. That tether does not work. Something has been broken somewhere along the way. Okay, well, let's pop down a new tether then. There we go. Sorted. Uh, it looks like that could be very, very far, though. I think it may be worth our time building out a little ways. As far as we can with the tethers, then running the rest. Okay, I'm being a little bit less frugal with my tethers now. I'm depositing them a little bit further, uh, closer. What is... Oh, that's research. Mm, okay, well, just as well we brought the tethers then. Okay, well, again, lithium. I accept. Uh, I feel a little bit silly about not having saved the other one now. I was kind of thinking, ah, what's, what's the odds? What are the odds that I'm going to find more lithium? But no, no, uh, apparently the odds were fairly good. Uh, well, how about I do that so that I can fit this in there? Haha, <laughs> gaming the system. Okay, I'll be back for you maybe later. Also, is there anything behind you or is this... No. Just a crash ship. Fair enough. I'm okay with that. And now we'll just make our way back. And here we are. Okay. So, we've got... What can we make here? We can make a storage easily enough, actually. Sure, okay. Let's... Uh, oh, that's resin, not compound. Damn. Uh, we need aluminium for the wind vane, lithium for the battery, copper for the generator. Or... Oh. We could, instead, go for something a little bit more awesome. And I'm thinking something a little bit more awesome. I was wondering what if that was. That was the solar cell closing. Let's go for something a little bit more awesome. Do I have Ryzen on me? I do. Build you out there. We'll go back and gather some more resin. One over here. And what I intend to do here is we are going to have a little Y shape breaking up off this one. A little bit harder to manage, but there we go. Perfect. Right, I can drop off a couple of things here and there, because now I need a lot of resin just to finish these up. I would like... I'm going to say I would like a vehicle bay over on this side. Okay, so I'm going to need to drop off my aluminium. Pop that there. The two aluminium. The three aluminium. And the lithium. All very, very important components. And in fact, the copper as well. My lord. Okay. Right, there we go. We're going to go and grab some more resin. Ah, that was dangerous. Right, here we are then. Let us gather as much resin as we can. And then we are going to head on back. I'm noticing that I am actually draining power and oxygen without restoring it, which is a little bit of a concern. Why? See? See? I, I, I warned. I warned everyone that I would probably miss the fact that I wasn't tethering to something eventually. Or often. I don't know if I said often, but I meant often. Can I get that working, please? Really? I can't get it down there. Well, that just seems unreasonable. Frankly, quite unreasonable. There we go. There we are. Power is being moved along. I am pleased. Oh, right, though. 
The weather vane is, is recharging my power. I like it. I like the little uh, the little uh, activation sort of um, images as, as energy is moving through stuff. Now, what? Oh, a fuel. Ooh. A fuel condenser, eh? Maybe that's what we would use for large generators. But I would super duper like this right now. I want a vehicle bay. Vehicle bay, aluminium, aluminium, build. Glorious. Now then, I've got to wait for power before I can do anything. Well, I'll just, uh, it's quite rubbish. Um, what do I need for a generator? I need copper. Oh, is that copper over there? Is that, um, it is. So... Hmm. I think I want this one to be expanding out in this direction as well. There we go. We're going to need a lot more resin because I'm going to want to build this up and possibly have a fuel condenser over here. That is where I'm thinking we need to go to next. And then build a gigantic generator that we're going to be able to hook up to everything and just power the whole base from. It'll be grand. Let me go and set that up, though. So, aluminium. Oh, no, no, not aluminium. Don't want that. We want copper. Was that really aluminium? I thought it was copper, really. Oh, damn. And we don't have two. Uh, well, we know where there's malachite, so we could just go and grab that. But for the time being, I'll just show how the, the mini generator works. Also, let us get rid of some of the uh, stuff that we've just got lying around. So we place down a generator. Pomp. And then, place on the generator. Organics. And it simply gets broken down and turned into power. It's, it's really that simple. And you can have one of those on your person. At which point, anywhere that is plants, you've got power. Which is actually pretty cool. Now, soon I will be coming back with something awesome for you, but we are going to want this generator, and that's going to require two copper. It's going to take a little bit of effort, but I think we're up to it. Okay, so we're going to go back down into the mines. We're going to try and, ouch, not break ourselves as we go down into the mines. And ideally, I would like... Oh, I'm going to break myself, aren't I? Uh, yes, a little bit. I'd like to find some... Oxygen, so that we're not too. Uh, ooh, don't like you, please. No. Leave me. No, 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 no. Bad, bad poison gas. Naughty. Why have you got to be so mean? There we go. That's better. Oh, really? There's more poison gas. Oh, there's more poison gas up there. Really? Well, you suck. You suck so much. Let me through. I just want the malachite. Can I kill you? In some way. Oh, oh, I'm, ouch, ouch, ouch. No, ouch. Leave me alone. It hurts. It hurts. Why? Why it hurts so much? Uh, okay. Give me some more power. Still poison gas coming after me. Uh, and there's more evil plants. Why? Why evil plants? Are you evil plants? I'm not sure if you're evil plants. There's too many evil plants in here for my liking. I just want, want the copper. This is where I find out that the copper is actually how they stay alive. Um, they feed on the copper, you see. And by trying to harvest the copper, I am directly attacking them. No wonder they want me dead. There we go. I will harvest it from afar. Take that, evil plants. Can I, can I just make a gigantic pit and just sink you into it forever? Oh, that that is not evil plants. That is actually something for researching. Okay, well, that's pretty good. But I need to be out of here now. How much malachite have I got? Got one. I need another one. Need a w another one before I leave. Okay. Let me harvest all of... There we go, you're dead. Ha-ha! Take that, evil plants. Okay, now I'm down to just myself. No, out, 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 out. Uh, well, I don't have quite enough for... More than one car, uh, sorry, more than a generator, but you 
know what? Maybe that's fine. Maybe that's okay. I, oh, no, wait. There we are. More. More Malakat, please. Please be dead. Ah, he got off his evil gas before I could kill him. Okay, we've got a reasonable amount, but I now need to just l run. I need to be out of here. I have dodged a lot of the evil gas, but not quite enough. Um, that is a way out. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That is not the way that I need to be going, though. Where is the way? Uh, I'm lost. I'm lost without oxygen. This, this is, this is, this is not ideal. Yeah, I'm suffocating. Can I, can I? No. No. Dig, dig a way out. I'm going to die. I'm going to die in a hole because I got lost. I don't need power. I need oxygen. Uh, I bet, I bet there is, there, uh, there's life-giving air up there. Just up there, I bet. Well, that was less than heroic. Less than heroic. I also don't have my, my, uh, awesome stuff. I've got my power generation, but I do not have my battery. Hmm, that is less than ideal. However, I can. Ouch! Read. I was. I was, wasn't I? Was there a way? What a dip. What a massive dip I am. Oh well. On the plus side, I can go down and get my batteries and stuff now. There we go. This is this is a lesson for you. Always make sure you've got an escape route. Right, okay. Um could I have well, basically I want everything, really. Ow! There we go. I want this, and I want this, this, all of the everything. Don't actually care about the power, but everything else I want. I'm gonna have to make myself another grave, but it's all the way down there. It's gonna be an awkward place to build a grave. <sighs> well, you know, I, I can't not build a grave for myself. I mean, come on. Hmm. Maybe I could build a great. Ah, uh, yes. We'll build another obelisk grave marker up here. So, looking straight down. Alt pressed. Yes. This needs to be a bigger one. Because I died deeper down, you see. That's the way this works. There we go. This is a, and also, I didn't die stupidly. I died. I died pursuing riches. And I just got lost. I think everyone can appreciate being lost. In fact. I think I think I need to maybe give this obelisk a bit more of a shape in the middle. Let's let's give it a bit more of a bit more of a refined shape. There we go. Okay, that's that's not quite in the middle. Uh I mean maybe maybe yeah, okay. Okay, I kind of like this obelisk. It has a certain something. I think we can all agree. There we are. And let's, let's give it a bit of a wider base as well. Something like this. Just all the way around. Yes. Something like that. Going around. And, and this would be where I would uh, I would have, like, candles all along this, this tier here. And then down the bottom, there would be a plaque right there. And they would have, have lovely words and things. And then that would be very well decorated. Have all kinds of, of gilding. And yeah, it would look very fancy. Very fancy obelisk to mark my, my final resting place in that cave. Well, it's not my final resting place. But you know what I mean. Right. Uh, let's go and see. Ooh, there is something there. I only need compound for this. I can make a rover. Or I can make a truck. I need aluminium for the truck. I can make a shuttle. Sorely tempted to make the shuttle, but let's make a rover first, I think. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, really? Is that going to miss us? Oh, it might do. Or it might not. Mm. It's getting pretty bad, actually. Ah, oh, my lord. Let me in. On the plus side, we're going to find out whether this kills me. No, no, I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet, anyway. Okay, so uh, while I'm in the in the cabin sipping tea, just kind of calmly staring at my almost certain demise, stiff upper lip and all that, 
Uh, the space rocks just kind of plinking off my my suit. I, I I like to think that when I'm plugged into the life support system, I've got some sort of powered exoskeleton, and it, it's just you know drawing a lot of power right now, and it's it's just beefing up. Normally, it operates at minimum power because I don't have, you know, like the nuclear-powered backpack that I'm meant to carry with me at all times. But, you know, they were cutting costs on this expedition, and we basically all just got solar-powered little and, and, and wind um, wind turbines. Not really the amount, amount of energy needed by our powered exoskeleton suit, but when I'm plugged into the base... I am basically a space marine. And space marines don't care about flying rocks, even flying rocks that are traveling at 4,000 kilometers per millisecond. No. There we go. Alright, okay, well, I would like... Hmm. Well, first I'm going to have to get some rares in. I need a, to find out a lot of stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, I need to find a lot of stuff first. We're going to need a chunk of rares in. Let's put all of the malachite over there. And then I'm going to have you start smelting it. Next, I'm going to go grab some resin. Ah, glorious. Glorious resin. Not nearly enough resin, though. But it was glorious what I got. There's loads of resin over there, though. I'll go grab that. Here I come, resin. No, no, no. There's, there's no use lamenting your fate. Uh, there's also some resin down there that I can just pick up, so I, I don't know why I'm, I'm murdering all of this resin, really. I'm probably just bitterness, I suppose. Too many deaths lately. Too many deaths. Resin must suffer. There we go. Okay, so we've got plenty of resin. Next, we're going to need loads of compound. Um, because we're going to be building a rover. That is going to be rather amazing. Uh, but let's go and get this fuel processor set up first, shall we? So, here we go. Resin. Thank you. Let's see what we need for this. And now, printer. Fuel condenser. Two copper. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Okay. Well, have I got the copper over there? One. One copper. You can come over here. And then two copper. You can go there. And let's build the fuel condenser. And boink. Can I lift that up? No. That's a shame. So what do I do? Do I just put fuel in here and then it creates... Because there is a type of fuel. I think it's hydrazine. So maybe that's what I need right now. If so, that would be rather awesome. Um, also, is that copper or is that aluminium? That's aluminium. Okay, so I've got copper, aluminium, and lithium. Really, what I would like is to get a couple of... Um, if I could get a, a few storage for each type of resource, then that would make things significantly easier for me to manage. But okay, I need to go out and get some compound next, because I really would like to uh, prepare for the rover, either in this episode or in the next. Oh wait, that is... is this a... Hmm, this doesn't actually look... Too much like one. No, there's another crash ship over there. Aha! Compound. I'm here, you. Fantastic. That looks just like a plant. But we've got something new to research, so we may as well. There we go. Let's grab a little bit of everything. Now, I have no idea how many things there are to research. I have no idea where the ceiling for new equipment sits with this game. Um, but obviously, with it being in alpha, wherever it might sit... Might not be where it stays. Um, is there anything I don't need? You know what? Let me uh, switch to a beacon so I can pick this one up. There we go. Ah, gaming system. I adore it. Right. Going to be a little bit of a walk for me to get back to base at this point. First, I need to get back to the tether because, honestly, I don't know if I'll make it back to base. In fact, no. I've already run out of my secondary oxygen tank. So, yeah. I'll see you back at base if I make it. And here we are. We are, in fact, back at base. So let's get this research. What have we got here? I'll take a sip of tea while we do that. What? Researched f filters? 
Filters, filters, filters. Are filters something I can make? Because filters sounds like something I could make. Yes. Maybe that would let me walk past poison gas. Oh, I do so hope. I do so hope. However, hmm. Am I going to be a bit of a scallywag? I could be a bit of a scallywag. Uh, there's definitely a part of me that wants to be a scallywag. No. No. Today, today, Dark Gavak isn't allowed out of his cage. We're going to get this set up, and I am going to... Oh, wait. Did I not pick everything up? Have I have I not got the compound? Oh, drat. Damn and blast. I thought I had enough. Well, maybe I'm going to be a scallywag by default. I didn't mean to be, but it appears... That... Oh, no, wait. Ha-ha. We're good. We're good. I didn't accidentally be a scallywag. Never mind. There's not going to be a cliffhanger for the rover. We're going to build the rover, and that is probably the last thing we're going to build. And then we'll equip it and play around with it in the next episode. Ah, oh, bloody thing. Let's fix this. I went to such great lengths to keep my uh, my area nice and level for, for such things. Okay, so. Rover. No power to quite a lot of things. Uh, actually, we can quickly fix that, thinking about it. Well, there we go. Perfect. But that took a huge amount of our, our base's power. This... Can what? I I can drive it. Really? I can just drive it by being on it. I don't think so. I think it's just moving around, but based <laughs> on the way that I'm placing uh, weight on it. But that is actually pretty cool. We have got a seat, and we're going to be finding out a little bit more about the rover. In the next episode. Oh, I can get it to build me a seat, can I? That's kind of awesome. But we don't need it. Not this time. But uh, that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. As ever, do like if you liked and sub if you haven't. But until next time, do take care.